This video includes a paid sponsorship from Joa, but more on that later. You've probably seen articles or social media posts showing imperfections, misalignments, or even uneven panel gaps in prototype Cybertrucks. However, as we approach first customer deliveries of the Cybertruck on November 30th, it appears like panel gaps will not be an issue with production Cybertrucks based on a recent Cybertruck spotting at a Tesla showroom in San Diego, which showed a perfect fit and finish. Do make sure that you stick around to the end of this video because I'm going to be revealing how many Cybertrucks Tesla plans to actually deliver at the delivery event on November 30th, and also the official payload and towing capacities of the Cybertruck as well. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. In August, a reportedly leaked email from Elon made it clear that extremely tight tolerances were necessary for the Cybertruck to have a good fit and finish due to the stainless steel design making any imperfection stand out like a sore thumb. When it comes to just how tight the tolerances need to be with the Cybertruck, in this leaked email, it was written, quote, all parts for this vehicle, whether internal or from suppliers, need to be designed and built to sub 10 micron accuracy. Sub 10 micron accuracy is insane, especially when you realize just how small a micron is. And according to this sciencenotes.org article, quote, objects that are 10 microns thick are barely visible without magnification. Now I'm not so sure sub 10 micron accuracy is necessary, but this attention to detail has apparently paid off on Tesla's Cybertruck and the fit and finish because a Cybertruck that is on display at a Tesla showroom in San Diego has an amazing fit and finish. Russell, who goes by at for the future on x.com, recently shared a series of images and a video clip of a Cybertruck that is on display in a Tesla showroom at the University Town Center Mall in San Diego, California. However, before I discuss further details of the excellent build quality of the Cybertruck on display in San Diego, this portion of today's video is sponsored by Joa. Joa is one of the world's leading providers of quality Tesla accessories designed to enhance your Tesla driving experience. Winter weather is here, and if you don't already have all-weather floor mats installed in your Tesla, now is a good time to do so to protect your carpet from the water, snow, sand, and mud. Protect your carpet and get a set of Joa's all-weather floor liners and trunk liners for your Tesla that not only look great, but are designed with anti-skid backing and hook and loop fasteners for a secure fit. Find these and many other great accessories for your Tesla by going over to joa-life.com forward slash cleanerwatt and using this link will automatically load in the discount code cleanerwatt to save 5% off your purchase. I will put this link in the video description and do note that I earn a commission on any Joa purchase you make using this link, which helps support this channel. Now going back to the video clip and images that Russell shared on x.com of the Cybertruck, in this walk around video, notice just how amazingly small and consistent the panel gaps are. In the first part of the video, you can see the front of the Cybertruck, and you can see that the gap between the front trunk and the rest of the Cybertruck body is very even and very consistent. Here's another great angle that once again shows how consistent this fit is. This consistent panel gap is an improvement over a production candidate version of the Cybertruck that Elon Musk tested back in August, and Elon posted on x.com this image of him in the Tesla Cybertruck. And as you can see here, if you look closely there at the front of the truck, there is a little bit of a misalignment there between the front trunk and the body panel. But once again, that is apparently not the case anymore, and Tesla has figured out how to make this align very well. Next, moving to the side of the vehicle, the driver's side front door alignment is extremely good, and at the front of the door, you can see just how consistent that panel gap is. And at the back of the door, that alignment is also very good. And notice that the doors are also completely flush with one another. Here's another angle of that. And once again, you can see how aligned that is. And the same consistent panel gap applies to the rear door as well. Moving back to the rear tailgate, you can see that it looks very nicely aligned at that angle. And then where the tonneau cover and rear tailgate meet up there, you can see how well that appears to be aligned as well. Beyond those images, Russell also shared this image of the Cybertruck suspension, another image showing a very nice clean joint there with two pieces of stainless steel coming together. 
an image of the Cybertruck interior, and also an image here of a camera built into one of the wheel wells of the Cybertruck. Also, as Russell pointed out in this particular image where it's circled there in red, it looks like there might be an area right there where you can unclip these front side view mirrors. As a reminder, Elon Musk posted in the past that the Cybertruck side view mirrors would be able to be removed by the owner, and it looks like there might be an interior clip there to be able to make that possible. In addition, in this image, Russell was able to confirm that the front seats of the Cybertruck are indeed perforated, meaning that it has ventilated seats. And in this image, it looks like the areas there circled in yellow are areas where you can step onto the Tesla to make it easier to get to the top of the truck or the top of the rear bed. Russell also confirmed once again that there's not going to be side cell storage compartments in the Cybertruck because that side piece there is fixed in place. Seeing such an excellent build quality on this truck makes me believe that Tesla has figured this out and that there's not going to be a bunch of misalignment issues with the Cybertruck despite what some people thought. Moving beyond that, Tesla's product design director, Javier Verdura, at an event in Monterey, Mexico, shared that Tesla would only be delivering 10 Cybertrucks at the delivery event on November 30th. Although Elon has been very clear that we shouldn't expect a large quantity of Cybertrucks to be built this year, Tesla only delivering 10 at this event actually kind of surprises me. I expected a bit more than that, but Tesla clearly has built a lot more than 10 Cybertrucks, so I hope that this is just the beginning and that we'll see a flood of Cybertrucks be delivered um, by the end of this year, and hopefully Tesla will be able to deliver well over a thousand Cybertrucks by the end of this year. I also hope that at this delivery event, Tesla will reveal the final specs and pricing of the Cybertruck. And it's possible that these 10 deliveries are going to Tesla employees because once again, Tesla hasn't made public the pricing. Um, Tesla might have just chosen 10 of the top reservations and sold it to them, but it's very likely these are going directly to employees at first. And then we'll see further customer deliveries in the coming weeks. Now, when it comes to my expectations for how long it will take Tesla to ramp up production of the Cybertruck, Elon Musk did make very clear in a past conference call that fully ramped up Tesla plans to build around 250,000 Cybertrucks per year. However, he also made it very clear that his best guess was that they wouldn't reach this kind of volume until sometime in 2025. So my hope is by the end of this year that Tesla will be building um, Cybertrucks at a run rate of around 1,000 per month. And by the end of 2024, I hope that they'll be at an annual run rate of building around 72,000 per year. And hopefully by the end of 2025, they'll be fully ramped up. Beyond that, I hope demand for the Cybertruck stays strong and that Tesla will end up building quite a bit more than 250,000 per year in the future. Nonetheless, with that being said, the official tow and payload capacities of the Cybertruck were recently revealed in this posting on the Cybertruck Owners Club forum by KUMX. And this image here was taken at the San Diego Tesla store showroom where a Tesla Cybertruck is on display. And you can see here that the payload capacity of the Cybertruck is 2,500 pounds and the vehicle will be able to tow up to 11,000 pounds. While those numbers are a little bit lower than Tesla initially announced back in 2019, they still are extremely competitive and totally sufficient. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to Joa for sponsoring this video. And once again, make sure that you go over and click the link in the video description to check out Joa's accessories for your Tesla. And if you click that link, you can save 5% off your Joa purchase and Joa will give me a commission off of your purchase as well, which helps support this channel. I also wanna say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me on Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.